I promise you it's like the number one free tip to getting your emotions and your mood back together. If you do it first thing in the morning, you're going to be giving your best self to everybody else. You'll basically be winning the whole day. Hey friends, in today's video, we're gonna talk all about creating your perfect morning routine so you can become your best self this year. I personally believe that your morning routine literally sets the tone for your whole day essentially like if you want to be more functional more productive more successful just feel good about yourself i think that how you start your day is the most important so we're just going to talk about some different tips to help you kind of formulate and build your morning routine i also think that everybody's morning routine is based off of what they need and what's best for them i'm personally a mom so i can't really wake up at five o'clock in the morning i mean i probably could but i don't really like to because i probably don't get to sleep until really late so i think that like if if you're a young girl single in her 20s your morning routine is gonna look different than someone like me or somebody else you know so i really think that in this video i just want to help you build different tips and i'm just going to give you guys some different options of what have worked for me um so you can kind of build your morning routine to best fit you and your needs i don't think there's one size fit all when it comes to a morning routine i do think there's different habits and things that you can do that will make you more successful in the morning like i don't think you should wake up and down a bag of hot chips and drink some liquor but i don't think everybody can wake up at five o'clock in the morning either so i have 10 different tips and you can just pick and choose what works best for you and hopefully this helps you build your perfect morning routine so without further ado let's just get right into the video with number one wake up at the same time every day i think it's super super important to wake up at the same time every day like i said waking up at 5 a.m is not for everybody waking up at 4 30 is not for everybody but i do think it's important for you to wake up at the same time every day so you can get your body used to being on this cycle say if you think okay i can wake up at six or i can wake up at seven make sure you're working at six or seven every single day and it'll be hard the first couple of days but honestly like a week in you're going to get used to just naturally waking up like that like you might not even need to set an alarm so by waking up at the same time every day i genuinely think that that is the perfect way to start number two set your intentions for the day i think when you first wake up it's important to speak into the universe i'm gonna have a great day today my day is going to be good i'm going to be productive and just by speaking those positive words out to the air and out to the open or if not speaking them but like thinking them i think that's gonna set the tone we live our lives based off of what we think we are the product of our thoughts and what we are putting out there is what we get back so if we wake up Oh my gosh, this Monday I'm gonna have the worst day ever. Oh my gosh, I hate Mondays. Mondays aren't good for me. You're gonna have a bad Monday? I don't know. <laughs> if you're thinking, I'm gonna have a bad day, today is crappy, I didn't sleep good, so I'm gonna have an awful day, then yes, you're gonna have an awful day because that's what you're saying, that's what you're believing. So everything that you do is going to feel awful. You're gonna get out of bed and you might trip. Oh, I knew it, it's a Monday. I'm. You brush your teeth and you might be out of toothpaste. Oh, it's Monday you're saying that you're putting this into the air so you're gonna find literally any little thing that feeds into that belief that mondays are the worst day or any day really if you wake up on a like the wrong side of the bed if you wake up with a bad tone and on a bad note in a bad mood you're gonna have a bad day naturally so i think it's important to set your intentions for the day and speak positively on your day i'm gonna have a great day even if you feel awful i'm gonna have a great day today it's gonna be a great day i'm gonna be productive i'm gonna be successful today i'm gonna knock this out i'm gonna do this it's gonna be a great day i feel energetic then you're gonna have a good day that's literally worked for me so many times. If you just force yourself to feel like it's gonna be a good day, you're gonna have a good day, I guarantee you. Three, get out your bed and don't get on your phone. When you wake up, the last thing you should be doing is getting on your phone. You do not need to get on your phone right away because you're not getting on your phone to do nothing normal. You're getting on your phone to check social media or check out what everybody else is doing. Get up and immediately get out your bed and don't touch your phone. You can touch your phone later. You can Those work emails can um, wait, your text messages can wait, everything can wait. Get out of bed right away. You hear that alarm? Okay, up and at I'm like, let's go. You can set your intentions for that and see something on social media. And even if you're trying to have a good day, you might see something that really, really, really drains you and you're feeding off of everybody else's energy or you're early comparing yourself to other people and it's just gonna make for a bad start to your day. And it's kind of wasting time. It's not feeding into that whole, I'm doing this for me and I'm having a productive morning. So do not get on your phone first thing when you wake up. And if you just get out the bed, then it'll be easier to stay out the bed. If you wake up, hear that alarm, okay, I'm about to get out the bed. It's easier, you know? Four, I think it's super, 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 super important. And this is something that I just started implementing into my morning routine to get fresh air and sunlight within the first like 30 minutes to an hour after waking up. Even if you have to throw on a hoodie real quick or even put on your robe, 
go outside, take a couple deep breaths, get some sunlight. I think it's so important. I think that it helps regulate you, especially if you're waking up with the sun. I really think that it's good for your mental health, your physical health, because like I said, the deep breaths, like it helps your lungs and stuff. Just waking up and just being one with nature for a second, I think is super important. And I'll link something down below that I've seen like studies that show that it actually helps like with your mental health and stuff like that. So I think that's really important to implement into your routine if you can do such thing. And even if you like live in an apartment complex or something, go out on your balcony. Like, it's literally just about getting that fresh air and the sunlight in. It's not like going for a whole run first thing in the morning. Like literally just for a few minutes soaking in that sunlight and taking deep breaths, getting some fresh air. It's really important. Number five, it's really important to stretch. Once you've gotten out of bed and either before or after, even during you're getting your sunlight, stretch. You would just sleep. You might sleep in the same position or you might be a wild sleeper or whatever the case may be. But regardless, you can stretch, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, a quick two minute stretch. I think it just feels good personally. I think just stretching, whether you're going to work out or not, I think just stretching is good for anybody. You can just stretch your body out, relax, you know, shoulder exercises, stretch your arms, touch your toes, all that good stuff. I just think it feels good. Six, deep breathing. This is something that I do honestly multiple times a day because it calms me down. It helps my mood. It helps me relieve pressure and tension and just bad feelings. It's just a good, okay, let me take a second and just you know some deep breaths i think taking deep breaths is so essential and honestly it's not just for the morning all throughout the day if you're feeling some type of way if you're angry if you're upset and you just need to come to let me get back to myself moment take some deep breaths i promise you it's like the number one free tip to getting your emotions and your mood back together seven hydrate drink some water keep some water by your bed keep some water in your room go down to the kitchen get you some water cold water room temperature water it really doesn't matter just drink some water when you wake up you've been asleep for what six to nine hours or more you haven't had no water you haven't had nothing to rehydrate you before you drink coffee before you drink tea drink some water it'll make you feel good and it really like you'll notice if you start drinking water right when you wake up it'll like feel like you're like hydrating your organs and your throat and everything like that and you'll like start to feel like you're waking yourself up eight this is my favorite thing to do i am a virgo so that's probably why but make a to-do list for your day and it don't have to be some crazy to-do list because i'm gonna show y'all my to-do lists are literally so long it's scary and sometimes i don't even complete them but like this is just an example you can kind of see like these are all the things on my to-do list and i'm still trying to find like the perfect way to make my to-do list where it's like manageable but still knocking things out so that's kind of what that is right now like for today i have different categories so like for the house for my partner for my kids for myself for my business and then i try to put three things in each category and then like at the that long part at the bottom is like a bank so it's like when i'm done with all those things here's a bank of extra things i need to get done and then i can kind of check them off that list out but anyways making a to-do list will make you feel like you're like okay this is what i need to do today you're not gonna be scrambled you're not gonna have a bunch of things you're going oh i forgot this i need to do this i have this appointment today i gotta do this i gotta go here i gotta call this person i need to do that no that's too much if you sit down like okay five minutes i'm gonna make a to-do list what am I going to do today? What do I need to accomplish? And even if you break it down like I did into sections, okay, this is what I need to do for my home. This is what I need to do for my relationship. This is what I need to do for my family. This is what I need to do for my kids. This is what I need to do for myself. If you're breaking these things down and planning out, okay, this is what I need to accomplish for the day, then it'll be a lot easier and you'll feel like more clear-minded and level-headed. You'll feel like, okay, this is what I need to do. I can tackle this. Once I get my morning routine out, this is what I'm going to do going forward. And I think that'll really help you like calm your mind down and feel like at peace, like, okay, this is my goal for the day. This is what I plan on tackling. And having it all laid out there, you can just check it off one by one. I think it's going to really help you feel more productive and more successful. And by planning it out in the morning, you'll basically be winning the whole day. Not, it's not easy, but I do think that by having physical activity of any kind first thing in the morning, it helps. I do think that getting the bulk of the things that are good for you out of the way in the morning, it makes it easier for the rest of your day to go smoothly. If you're drinking that water, if you're coming up with your to-do list, if you're doing your deep breathing, if you're working out, stretching, all that stuff first thing in the morning, the rest of your day is kind of up to you. You have that to-do list, you know what you're going to do, but if you're doing the most important things for yourself and catering to yourself and watering yourself first thing in the morning, you don't feel like at the end of the day, oh, I'm too drained to actually pour into myself. Just like you're pouring into work, your business, your relationship, your kids, your friends, you need to pour into yourself. And if you do it first thing in the morning, you're going to be giving your best self to everybody else. I noticed that I am my best self as a mom, as a girlfriend, as a sister, a daughter, as a entrepreneur, as a content creator, when I take care of myself first thing in the morning. When I'm waking up early, when I'm drinking my water, I'm stretching, I have my whole routine, my whole thing down. I notice that I perform better because I took time to water myself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this in a video, but you cannot pour from an empty cup. I think that um, it's so, so, so important to make sure you're getting the bulk of this stuff done, you know, 
early in the morning. But with that being said, physical activity. I think that by doing yoga, Pilates, working out, literally anything, going on a quick walk, a jog, a run in the morning, if that's your thing, um, <laughs> doing those things, in the morning i think it's super important and it'll make you feel good like you'll knock it out i personally don't like to work out on like a full stomach and i feel like after a day full of eating i'm not gonna work want to work out at night time you know so i think by working out in the morning or just doing some type of physical activity like you're getting your blood rushing your heart pounding just you know staying active all that good stuff i think that's important to do in the morning and number 10 i think it's really important after you've done all these things to have a healthy and nutritious breakfast i think that by eating something healthy something light it'll give you that energy they do say breakfast is the most important meal of the day i personally for a while wasn't even eating breakfast because i don't really like breakfast food all that much but i do think it's important to put something into your body whether that be an apple and a granola bar some almonds a piece of toast some fruits a smoothie anything i think that by eating something healthy first thing in the morning you're just nourishing your body and you're giving yourself that energy you need like i said i don't think you should eat chips and cookies and all that unhealthy stuff for breakfast i really don't i don't do that i think it makes you feel sluggish i don't think it's healthy i don't think that's good for you <laughs> but i do think that it's important to eat something healthy in the morning when you're wrapping up your morning routine before you get ready for your day give yourself that energy those nutrients that you need i think that's really important but yeah those are my 10 tips like i said pick what you want from it and discard what you don't i do think that these can all be effective and helpful for anybody i do think that they will make you more successful i think that you will feel better by doing these things in the morning but ultimately like i said your morning routine is what's best for you these are just some things that i do sometimes i'm not perfect but if i were to have a perfect morning routine that's what it would look like but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching as always make sure you leave a thumbs up comment subscribe and turn on your post notifications and i will see you in the next video Bye.